you had said on Truth Social a number of times you did de declassify. I did declassify, yes. Okay. W is there a process? What was your process to declassify? It doesn't have to be a process, as right. I understand it. it. You know, there's different people say different right. things. But as I understand, there doesn't have to be. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it, because you're sending it to Mar-a-Lago or to wherever you're sending it. And there doesn't have to be a process. There can be a process, but there doesn't have to be. You're the president. You make that decision. So when you send it, it's declassified. We, I declassified everything. You just watched Donald Trump possibly incriminate himself during that interview with Sean Hannity, not because he stupidly claimed that he could declassify documents with his mind. I don't know how he thinks that would work, but just to show you how stupid national security attorneys think that that is, they called it idle fantasy. But the reason why he may have incriminated himself there and why this interview may be used against him is because he made an admission there. So Maggie Haberman of the New York Times explained this via Twitter. The focus is understandably on Trump's claim of mental declassifications from his Hannity interview, but he appeared to indicate he intentionally sent the documents to Mar-a-Lago, which cuts against the it was an accident claims. From the transcript, quote, if you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying it's declassified, even by thinking about it, because you're sending it to Mar-a-Lago or to wherever you're sending it. In other words, he can no longer claim because of that interview that he just so happened to be in possession of classified materials by accident. Now he is admitting here that it was purposefully illegally sent to Mar-a-Lago. So great job, Donald Trump. Now to make matters worse, on Truth Social, he also tacitly admitted to financial fraud in an effort to presumably make himself look better that wasn't the case, of course. So he quoted Fox News Digital, which said Trump did not inflate his financial statements as prosecutors had anticipated, but instead undervalued his assets. So <laughs> in an effort to make himself look good, pointing out to his followers, see, look, I didn't actually inflate my financial assets. OK, but in that same sentence, it says that you undervalued your assets instead. That's still illegal. What are you doing? I mean, his attorneys have got to be so frustrated with him because he is not the type of client that you can coach. Like, he is constantly putting his foot in his mouth. And honestly, I love to see it. Like, this is stupid. I think he should keep talking. Like, if I were his attorney, uh, I would say, get off of social media. Stop doing interviews. Like, you're very clearly making matters worse for us. You're making our jobs harder. But he won't stop. He's uncontrollable. So he's going to continue to make matters worse. And if he didn't do enough damage to himself today, let me just show you the 24 hours that he's had. As CBS News reports, a three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit agreed to put on hold a lower court's order that kept the subset of sensitive records off limits for the Justice Department to use for investigative purposes, pending the review of the materials by an independent arbiter known as a special master. In its 29-page opinion, the panel said it agreed with the Justice Department that the federal district court in South Florida likely erred in blocking investigators' use of the classified records and then requiring them to submit the sensitive documents to the outside arbiter for review. Now, if you're a Trump supporter, you're probably claiming, well, these judges are just biased because they very clearly rebuked the order from Judge Eileen uh, uh, Cannon. And we'll talk about her in a second here. But um, you can't actually claim that these judges are biased because two of the three judges on this panel were appointed by Donald Trump. So, yeah, them saying that Judge Eileen Cannon erred is what everyone else, what all legal experts were essentially saying in unison. Now, on the subject of Judge Eileen Cannon, as Kyle Cheney of Politico points out, she actually had to backtrack and strike out provisions from her original ruling that stated that the 100 classified documents were exclusively subject to the review of the special master. Now, she did this, remember, after blocking the Justice Department from accessing the documents that were seized at Mar-a-Lago. So now, because of the 11th Circuit Court, the DOJ can again review these files and continue with their investigation. So this is really bad news for Donald Trump. But the one silver lining, at least politically for him, not necessarily legally, but politically for him, is that his supporters, primarily his sycophants, they don't really seem to care. Because as a poll conducted by Siena College and the New York Times points out here, his support has remained relatively stable, meaning that those who already thought that he was guilty, well, they still hold that view. But more importantly, 
importantly, those who thought that he didn't commit serious crimes haven't changed their minds either. So the prospect of him potentially committing crimes and the FBI raid, it's not really changing their views. So yeah, not necessarily surprising because this is largely a cult of personality, but still there's that. So either way, like I can anticipate many more bombshells. These investigations will continue. And one other thing that I'm certain of is Trump will continue to put his foot in his mouth and possibly self-incriminate even further. And I love to watch this shit show because it's great to see somebody who's a terrible person who's never been held accountable once in his entire life finally face a little bit of heat for the potential crimes that he's committed. So I don't know if anything will come of this, but there's a lot of investigations and where there's smoke, there's fire. So even if he's held minimally accountable for this, even if he's just slapped with a fine, just the mere fact that all of these investigations are inconvenient and they're making him squirm is great. But Donald Trump, please keep on talking because you are doing yourself no favors. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome, Welcome to the come zone. Come. Uh, uh, uh.